So this is a story that I wrote in free time in language arts class, and so let's begin. Magic. My world is full of magic. It is in the ground, in the air, in the sea, and in me. I'm a chieftain's daughter. I have a brother, a twin. I'm older by nine seconds. I was born on the ninth day of the ninth month of the ninth year of the ninth century of my tribe's existence. Nine is either my lucky number or unlucky number. I yet to find out. As I have a brother, he's supposedly supposed to be the next leader, but as I'm older, I should also have the right chance. So we will both be the next leaders. My father's counselors advised against me being the next leader, but we, we are still both supposed to be it. As my brother is the only heir besides me, he must also be trained. Most of the counselors think I will not make it. You see, before a chieftain is crowned, he or she must prove themselves to the people of their land. Now my brother and I must prove ourselves um, harder than anyone before because we are competing against each other. Today I trained with the sword, talked to the council, had a test with the bow and arrow, had a test in astronomy, and I went hunting. I'll admit my brother ex excels in hand-to-hand -hand combat, but you do not hand-to-hand -hand fight if you're tr hunting a leopard. You stealthily sneak up behind it. You could use magic, but, ma but magic, animals can sense magic. If they were as civilized as humans were, they would have overthrown us a long time ago. Each aura has a different color and a different smell. For example, let's say two people have blue auras. One aura would smell like blueberries and the other would smell like the ocean. You are born with the smell and it never changes. At once, people thought that the gold and silver were the most powerful auras. My father is a gold and my mother is a silver. If they were twins, they were thought to be invincible. Now we know that there are two po more powerful auras than the gold and silver. They are pure white and pure black. White represents purity and valor, while black represents evil. Now here's the surprise. My brother has a white aura and I have a black aura. And since we are twins, we are legends. The council fear when we are together. Or rather, they fear that I will turn him evil. If I pass my challenge, I will be the next leader. My scent is of lavenders. My brother's is ice and snow. I know snow and ice don't really smell like anything, but that's what when he does a spell, it feels like. The fresh, cold, crisp chill of winter. When my brother and I do a spell together, it's like frozen lavenders. We both enjoy magic. We are both taught advanced spells. Uh, while we were 10, we, while people are um, taught to levitate an object, we were taught to levitate ourselves. At age 12, we could spin tornadoes, and at 13, we could call thunder and lightning to our will. Even for chieftain's children, we are advanced. There's a week every, once every year where um, children from 10 kingdoms come to participate in a tournament. They're called the medieval games. Every year, one of the 10 kingdoms hosts it. Every year, my brother and I come in second. There's another pair of twins. They're gold and silver. Somehow, they always beat us. We are pretty equal in the normal rounds, like sword fighting and hunting. But, so, but there's one event, only one event that's held in private where only the judges see. And there they must do a magic show with the spells that they learned. Somehow they always beat us in, those, in that one round. My brother and I have always gotten second place. But you see, this year it will be different. This year we have a new spell, a spell that will make us legends. Thank you.